Wow, Parallel Convergence, really? Well, let's do it. Let's do it, why not? <laughs> this is just silly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it works. So you know that buffs the Legion Marauders, which will buff them. The real, which will buff the real ones. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Meme Tier Monday deck. We got Glorious Marauders. This one looks extra spicy. Definitely very excited about playing this one. So we're going to have a Legion Marauder deck. All right, so that's where we're starting. We got Legion Marauders. We got Strength in Numbers, making more Legion Marauders. All right, cool. But then we're also going to be having uh, Glorious Evolution in here. All right, so that, like that's the other name of the deck. So give all of our cards minus one cost, augment, and our now created cards and our tech. So they'll all have you know, like that augment. They'll all be created cards. They'll be buffing up the power quite a bit. Be getting a ton of power, both of those. Our two champions are going to be Echo and Victor. Of course, Victor for the Glorious Evolution and everything like that. But then Echo will be our other one because Echo, if we can level up Echo with the Predicts, we can get these Chrono Breaks and Chrono Break can be like like revive all of our legion marauders bring them back rally you know rallies with legion marauders always good so that's pretty exciting um but that's not going to be our only way to rally with the marauders we're going to be playing three copies of echo's champion spell called shot where it's a draw a card and then create a parallel convergence in your deck so parallel convergence start a free attack with all the with ephemeral copies of each ally this could be awesome in our deck if if we can like have a bunch of Legion Marauders in play, play this, they get a free ephemeral attack first, make the other ones bigger, and then the the originals get to attack, <laughs> and then also be, uh, you know, even bigger. So that could be really cool. Plus, this could work really well with Victor. A, it's a created card that's good for Victor. B, if you have a Victor that like is really big and has a whole bunch of keywords, you can you know get a free attack with like a really big Victor with with a whole bunch of keywords. So like that could also be cool. So I don't know, that, that could be pretty cool. So we got those in here. We got a spicy Black Rose Spy that can either, you know, like Reputation hopefully isn't too difficult to turn on with these Marauders. Um, and so like if we do that, then we can make another Marauder with the Black Rose Spy or, or we can make a copy of Victor, right? Like if we have a Victor that's like getting a whole bunch of keywords and everything and it's like a 10-4 Victor, right? Like that, that happens sometimes. Then you're like, boom, Black Rose Spy, make another exact copy of that Victor. And now suddenly you have two Victors with tons and tons of keywords. So that's a kind of a spicy one. And then we got the Fall Aid and Feed Lines, of course, getting these Hexite Crystals and Ballistic Bots, creating some Ignitions, all that kind of stuff. So that's the deck. Perfectionist will um, can like Perfectionist will be able to like create more copies of Legion Marauders for us if we want, or maybe we go find Glorious Evolution. You know, like it can do that stuff. It'll help level up the Echo. Whirling Death is going to be one of our removal spells because that's going to help with the reputation. Um, so we got that in here, and yeah, that's the deck. So is this perfect deck? No, not at all. But it's going to be really fun to play, and that's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. Hopefully, we can do something crazy in these five games. We're going to go head on over to normal and play five games with glorious marauders <laughs> yeah if only echo is easier to level yeah if only they had if only there are some more predict cards in built over and on for echo okay Tarek jarvin Tarek jarvin's always a difficult deck to defeat i like these three on the right i guess i'm gonna send the glorious evolution back just because you know it's the beginning of the game and it's 10 mana but that's a really cool card But Tarek Jarvan, you know, like those two champions and like Screeching Dragon and all that kind of stuff of like big challengers. That is, big challengers are not easy to defeat. So let's, oh, that thing's just a 2-2 two -two now, right? That's not a 2-3. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just played like House Fighter. Anyway, I wanted to clear up blocker. Yeah, I should have done that. That's alright, this works. Alright, that worked pretty well. Because they couldn't have like their, their blocker plus uh, then like a barrier or something like that also. Uh, 
Looks like I'm going fallen feline. What do we got here? Let's get him, run. Go get him, Marauders. Wow, taking it all down to four. I just need to find another Mystic Shot. I only have two Mystic Shots in the deck, but let's go look for that or that Hexite Crystal. A. You, your terror, the protector. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. Okay, neither of those. I'm gonna take time trick though. Okay, got it. Get a lot of time tricks. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Got blockers. Lots of time tricks are good for Echo. That's incorrect. No. That's not how you do that. There you go. There you go. Now you got it. Figured it out. Yeah, so the thing is... Do they have... Gross, that was the worst option. The thing is, I kind of feel like they they have um, Golden Ages. I think I kind of feel like that's what they want to do this round, is play so Golden funny. Ages. So I want to try to make it so they can't just Golden Ages so easily. Um, when do we pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too bad. Right. I deny that. When I'm supported, give me and my support ally plus one plus one this round. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. Please have that happen after. Yeah, so they can't take damage or die. Alright, good. I have to kill the Proje. Play that other house spider. I wish I didn't play that house spider. I really didn't need to. Well, just attack and attack kills my four two, and it kills their one two, and it does two damage to them. Puts them down to two. Oh, that's maybe not good. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. System upgrade. No materials, no improvements. Can you improve perfection? Stay focused! What? That means another Pale Cascade, right? Yeah. Wow. They drew into another one for Lethal, so that's going to be Lethal. Alright. We got to get really lucky. We got to draw... We have two cards in the deck, I think. That save us. One Mystic Shot, one Hexite Crystal. 2 out of 31. We also have 4 time tricks? 5? Five? 5 time tricks? That would also be good. Did not get there. Ooh. 
GG's. I must advance. I must improve. Playing the house spider is a big mistake. If I don't play that house spider, then I get to play the strength and numbers. Because I wasted that. I should have. I need to save that two mana so I can play the strength and numbers and I could attack with them. Anyway, oh, Draven Fizz? Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Alright, send it all back. Okay, cool. Don't return beam. Draven Fizz is a really aggressive deck with a lot of elusives. We are not very aggressive. We do not have very many ways to get rid of elusives. Got the top end covered. It's two in two rounds. We'll be able to play the strength of numbers. I was going to take out the two two twos, but once they did that, then we'll take out a three one. Alright, now we'll save our three spell mana so that we get to play strength of numbers. survived. Hopefully they attack on the ground and let me whirling death. Hopefully. Good draw. Huh. That's unexpected. Oh, they had it covered. I need one more mana. I need one more mana to be able to Mystic Shot also. Yeah, I did not expect that to be a good matchup for our cool meme tier deck that <laughs> did not expect that to be a good matchup. We are not facing good matchups. We are not at all. Because again, Lee Sin, you know, like we, we can't stop Lee Sin, right? So like there's, you know, we can't really stop Elusives, we can't stop Lee Sin. We're not really good at stopping people. We'd rather play against decks that are like control decks trying to kill our stuff. But just these, uh, some of these threats are just a little too good for us. They can have all the Eye of the Draglings, you know, they won. Eye of the Dragon, go ahead. That's fine with me. Greed will turn any man into a monster. Swipe it off. I think I play second Marauder here. What do we got here? Over Victor. Couple of five fours. Scum. And of course they have all the pump spells in the world being Sharima Ionia. But that's still that's us trading uh, two for one, so that's good, and we get these the pluses on these us. other cards. Good people don't look the other way. We gotta hope no Lee Sin. Said so that's Lee Sin's the card. They got it, we lose. 
they don't, we have a chance. Join the if they have Lisa, they may not play it like this round anyway because um, you know, they may not have like spell mana for spells. Like this. Okay. We're at two out of four reputation wise. Only be three out of four. I can't really get this victor to be five power. Well, that's pretty nice. I was thinking we could keep the death ray, you know, have like the death ray be able to. Um. Uh, be able to bust up a barrier if they were going to play Lee Sin and block. That was the plan. Cool, more time tricks. More time tricks gives us better opportunity to find that parallel convergence and also find the Hexite Crystal. No Lee Sin. Yay, no Lee Sin. Okay, no Lee Sin's champion spell either. I think I'd just go ahead and save five life. Well, let's, let's do this first. Excite Crystal? No. Another called shot or another time trick? I would like to level up this Echo. All right, I will let this happen. What? Oh, doing that to get this thing. And some of these time tricks are, you know, like these have been created by Practical Perfectionists, so they are created cards towards Victor. Let's level up. Next round we're gonna have 8 mana. Just gotta hope they don't find Lee Sin. Please don't. Please don't. Please never play A B Sin. So I'm at 4, so this will be 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't challenge the victor. I don't know why they... Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a little strange. Dang, that's a lot of spells. But they only got three mana. That's good news. Might as well do this right now. See what they do. We got the death ray to kill this thing, but that'll be game. 
Looks like we got it. Unfortunately, the victor just kind of kills him too fast. But I was gonna, because, you know, like, we'd be able to, like, hit with both of these, so they're 5 plus power, and then I could have the Black Rose buy copy the victor. Like, that would be really cool. But, you know, they're, they're kind of dead, so. I guess that's the thing as well. Alright, no Lee Sin, no win. That game would have been a lot different if they would have challenged the Lee Sin with that Dragline. I'm not sure exactly why they... Or, sorry, challenged the Victor with that, with that Dragline. I'm not sure exactly why they didn't, but I'm glad. Alright, so we'll have Marauder on three. Strength of numbers on, like, five. Okay, okay. So by round five, how much mana can we have? Fifteen? I think fifteen is one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright, so perfect amount for all of these cards. Those five cards. Out of the way. Out of the way. Could be the 4-1 Fearsome. Nope, good. So I can spend two mana this round and play Strength in Numbers next round. Veil Temple. Man, they are setting up. Something nice. So what's the payoff? You must fight for both of us. Aphelios. Alright, so Aphelios can shoot stuff. Can make moon weapons that do three damage. Well, that's just how it is. Okay, I can't take damage or die this round, so that, that can't take damage or die the rest of the game. See, this is what Meme Tier Monday is all about. We definitely lose this, they, so they get to keep on buffing up this Aphelios with, like, you know, give it overwhelm, give it lifesteal. You know, like the different moon, like the different moon weapons like that. Like, that's pretty sweet. Alright, so I will go ahead and not block. So they give if they give this Aphelios life steal, and so it can't take damage or die, and also has life steal. That could be pretty good, but like I don't know if they had the mana to do that last round, but that's what they should have done. If they could have. Oh, guiding touch. Saving them. All right. Yeah, because now they can life steal this thing. Now, My ah! that was a nice guiding touch. Huh. Well, kind of feel bad for my opponent. I, I got both Hexite Crystals with one prediction. That's just absurd. But they could. If they have Life Steal and then also like another Life gain thing of like the the five mana one right or something like that There's the Severum. So they didn't grab Severum right away. Christian. Yeah, that's the that's the card star shaping that they need. So 
So they had star shaping. Parallel Convergence, really? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Alternating <laughs> this is just silly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it works. So you know that buffs the Legion Marauders, which will buff them. The real, which will buff the real ones. They just didn't grab Severum for their first for their first one. If they would have just grabbed Severum to begin with, with the first moon weapon. Because they were already behind. They, they had to grab that Severum. I kind of wish they did. I don't know. If that was that could have been cool, but... That's... Parallel Convergence pretty sweet here. And then you'd be able to attack again. This will be a hard-fought battle. It always is against an NVIDIA. So I like cards that can uh, be worth more than one single card. And that's what strength in numbers can be. Let's see if we can call our own shot. So no attack token round three. Where we would normally, you know, like, play Marauder attack. We shall see. Cool. No immediate, you know, removal for this. So I, I'm going to just attack right away to get these out of Avalanche range. So now Marauders are out of Avalanche range. I think that's important. And then I guess I just play the Vic... Playing the victor means I don't get to play strength in numbers next round. That's okay, I think. So, which does mean I might as well just play the cold shot and create the parallel convergence somewhere. And then next round we have our five mana. I play like Marauder and save two. No, because I'm going to be playing... Hmm. Maybe I just don't play anything next round. Ingenious. Let's take this outside. I both don't want to block and don't want to take the damage. No Ice Shard or Vile Feast right away. Look what I found. Buff these back up to three, health-wise. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Hmm, that was a lot of damage. Okay, I think I'm going to Time Trick look for Called Shot, because that just ends the game. I look for Parallel Convergence, I mean. Defends the game on the spot. Glorious evolution? Okay, I didn't find it. Cause that's just like a...
we're putting pressure on them. I think that's that's just the you know the goal. You gotta put pressure on them. Like sure, they can you know ruination or whatever. Or, all right, they're gonna Nivia. We got to put pressure on them. Nothing escapes my watch. Let's make a bunch more mystic shots. And somebody at four. Winter, take you. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Join the glorious evolution. Maybe spell shield? Elusive? Elusive spell shield? Challenger. Oh, I don't get to play this death ray! On the Anivia, that was like my plan, I was going to death ray the Anivia, I don't get to, because now I don't have Victor. Okay. A new era begins! Gotta take the pass. That's four mana. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Yes, of course. And a decoder. Ooh, elusive. Welcome to the tipsy hour. New tech, new tricks, new day, new song. Analyzing approach. I will endure. So I didn't just like shoot them with the mystic shots because they always play like you know Catalyst of Aeons, Withering Will. Like they have lots of ways to heal their Nexus. The Tavern Keeper definitely makes my life a lot worse. This makes that much much worse. So. You know, Ingenious. hindsight's always, always something. This thing was created. You know, because of the augment. Go ahead and cast that. The only way I can stay alive is strength in numbers. So yeah, you know, obviously I, I wish, you know, hindsight, I wish I would have just thrown both Mystic Shots at their face before they played this Kylie Tavern Keeper. I thought I could make them, like, spend their mana and interact and stuff. You know, I just, I didn't really think of Tavern, you know, Tavern Keeper was the real problem with what I did. Alright, so we gotta block fours, and then block threes. you will be. Down to two. Good game though, Anivia. You know, like this is what Anivia does. We can, you know, we, we still create a, a good amount of Mystic Shots in there and we can draw like a time trick and find Hexite Crystal or Mystic Shot. Still have a little bit of hope. Not much, but a little bit of hope. Watch. So time trick, whisper words. This is our time. Glorious evolution? That doesn't help, unfortunately. Does not help. That does not help either. All right, good game, Nivia. Nivia did what Nivia does. This was a really fun deck to play, though. I liked it quite a bit. The the to be honest, the Glorious Evolution kind of didn't. I don't know. It didn't really fit. <laughs> 
but you know trying out something new but i liked the legion marauders with echo with just like the different predictions with echo and um the called shots right so just like called shot marauder and victor and stuff all that was like really cool so that that was awesome i could see even just going kind of going more into that even maybe playing more black rose spies instead of the glorious evolutions or if there's anything else to make victor better or if there's any kind of there's not really much protection in these regions but maybe a little bit more i don't know removal or like you know like your bloody business type stuff because you because you should have some five power units maybe like some bloody business type cards or or something um we couldn't really fit in oh maybe just incisive tacticians actually maybe that's like the other top end is just tacticians to to rally with these things that that could be it honestly um just have tactician black rose spy combo i could see doing that more 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 spies more tacticians instead of instead of evolution um we couldn't we wanted to fit in like arachnoid century and ravenous flock and you know just like some small damage things ravenous flock but just couldn't really fit in the the flock but um whirling death was on you know it underperformed but uh yeah yeah, maybe Incisive Tacticians and Black Rose Spy, that combo. That could be cool. All right, but that was awesome. Uh, Legion Marauders with Parallel Convergence and Call Shots and Echo and a bunch of Predicts and Victor. Cool deck. That's what Meme Terror Monday is all about. Fun one to play. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, try it out. Let me know how it goes. Um, you know, you got, you know, if you try Incisive Tactician instead of Glorious Evolution, let me know how that goes. Or if you got other cool ideas for the deck, always love hearing that. Come on, puppy, you want to say bye to, bye to them? Uh, so as always, thank you so much for watching. And puppy and I will see you for the next video. The puppy saying bye. Bop. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody.